Hi, everyone. Thank you for your patience today. If you have been joining me and if you have been trying to tune in today, uh, we have been experimenting with some new software to try to be able to help you be able to see the tray uh, so that we can chat with you and so that we can show you the pieces. And then, of course, it is also Fashion Friday. So I am here to share with you another episode of Wear This with Wear that. So if you are new around here, welcome. I am Veronica Stout, founder of the Vintage Meat Modern Jewelry Styling Society. And I have worked as an accessory stylist and I have worked in the personal shopping and personal styling industry for over 20 years. And my love is absolutely helping women look and feel their best by dressing in details. And so every week we put together a collection of 50 fabulous fonts. And so this week's collection has been inspired uh, by some really great vintage lifestyle type ads that you love and adore. Hey, how are you? Yes, if you can hear me, please say hello. I have been experimenting with how this works all day. And so I'm really doing my best in order to be able to try to get things in order to show up. So please say hello. Let me know if you can hear me. And also, I want to wish everybody a fabulous Friday. So if you are new to us, we we did have a lot of really incredible pieces uh, go off to new forever homes this week. It was another great week here at the Vintage Meat Modern Styling Society. This lovely little cameo, uh, which actually always, of course, reminds me of our logo, the girl with the turquoise silhouette is uh, one of the pieces that sold this week. So if you see a few pieces on the tray, actually the tray is not live. We are showing pictures of the tray that we take. And so I will sell, show you the pieces that we have. Uh, but some of the pieces, if you go to the website and you're like, well, where was that piece? I can't find it. Uh, we did have quite a few pieces go off to a new home. But let's talk about the inspiration behind this week. So we're talking about how we can make vintage jewelry modern and how we can have it blend seamlessly with what we have hanging in our closet or what we're seeing in the stores. And of course, the important thing to remember is that this entire collection this week was inspired by going with, of course, your most basic neutrals and your classic white. Because after all, we're headed into that summer white time of the year where it is very nice to be able to dress things up with a classic white sundress. Or of course, we can also just wear it very casually with a white tank or a white tee, and then with jeans and khakis or a casual skirt. But all of these pieces are pieces that should always be able to complement the most basic of neutrals. And so if you think to your Yourself. Well, I really love the way that that piece looks, but I'm just not really quite sure what I would wear with it. I always want you to think back to that, that this week's, this week's collection was, of course, inspired by the classic white neutral, the elegant, timeless look that we love and adore, and the way that we let our accessories shine when we dress that way. So that, of course, is one or the other. Another, of course, inspiration this week was the wearable garden. We, of course, showed off those huge, gorgeous, lucite, the blue earrings, and the other huge blue earrings. Uh, we showed all of those really beautiful pieces. Hey, how are you? Yes, cheers to the weekend, finally. You know, you get to that end of the day, and you're like, I have been struggling with tech all day long. Thank goodness that we're coming into being able to celebrate Friday. But this week's collection was, of course, mimicked the wearable garden. Time and time again, if you saw, this entire week looks like all of those gorgeous wearable pieces that we see out and about. Uh, we love those big giant flower power looks. We want things to mimic that light and airy and fun and fresh feeling that we love and adore. And it's really easy to be able to get a taste of that by being able to wear it in our jewelry. And so this week was also about all kinds of pops of color. 
So another fun thing that we love is the way that we've got those really big, bright colors that we associate with summer. The balloons, the red geraniums, the hanging out at the beach, the bright tropical patterns, those types of things. And so we were, of course, trying to also be able to bring out those kinds of colors that we saw that especially remember when the time we came in when, you know, color just became a thing in like digital print. So we're also thinking about how the way the designers embrace that and the way that it really got brought to light in the fashion world and how, you know, it became accessible. Kind of that whole color my world type feeling that we all love and adore. And then, of course, another throw to this week, of course, was the incredible Lily Pulitzer. We all know that I'm a huge Lily fan. I love the mix of color and pattern play. I love that it's got the intricate design, but yet from a distance, it's like a group of mooding of color. And so these pieces, we really wanted to bring out the way that this was a very popular and a style that was just beginning to emerge in the late 60s and early 70s. And so I myself personally collect some pieces from Lily Pulitzer. I think I talked a little bit about my struggles of trying to help my daughters find appropriate clothes and things like that. And at this age, when they're 12 and 14, I still find that Lily Pulitzer makes really cute shorts. Uh, they make really cute dresses, things that even a younger generation love to be able to wear. But let's be honest, it is also amazing at whatever age you are to rock a Lily Pulitzer caftan. And then maybe at that big, gigantic pink bubble bead necklace, which I know is going to go off to a fabulous new home soon because it's just meant to be. So that being said, we have all of these incredible pieces this week. And going along with these incredible pieces, I want to be able for you to really think about how that you could actually wear them. And so that's really important to me to be talking to you about the different ways that we can actually look in our closet and how you can actually wear this with that. And so I'm going to be featuring two dressy looks and two casual looks that blend seamlessly this week with their collection. These are things you might already have hanging in your closet, or they might be things when you're thinking about, yeah, I really like that piece of jewelry, but I don't know what I'd wear with it. This is your opportunity to actually take a look and see what I'm talking about, about how easy it is, not only just to wear it with the looks that I'm showing you today, but also how that you can wear these pieces over and over and over again. So I am going to go ahead and I am going to start with that lovely look from Lily Pulitzer. So I absolutely love and adore Lily. I became a fan of hers uh, around the same time that I also learned about Izod and also the same time that I became obsessed with Laura Ashley, which was actually like late 80s, early 90s, because I really love the use of pattern. I think pattern is something that when it's done right, it is something that really lends to a sort of a vibrant style. It's hard to describe, but at the same time, it's something that kind of captivates. And not everybody is a fan of being able to wear a bold styles, but if you like things that have pattern, it's nice because we do get this question from time to time where people say, I really like wearing pattern clothes, but I'm not really quite sure what kind of color of jewelry to put with them. So this week was kind of fun because normally I would tell most people, well, you either pick a color from the pattern or you either pick something that's Aurora Borealis or you pick something that actually has some form of the different kinds of colors uh, that will bring out and complement just one color in the dress or in the top or in the pants or the skirt. And so this week, as you know, I absolutely fell in love with this huge bubble bead necklace. And as you can see uh, from the shot that we're showing, you can pair this very easily with the pattern skirt that's below. It actually doesn't have a lot of pink in it. The primary colors are the turquoise and the purple and the white and stuff, but the pink adds a soft paleness to it. And we've just paired that with just a lovely white cream shell. And this is a great piece. I love the way that it fills a neckline. And you can wear it casually. You can wear it dressy. It has that fun 1960s vibe to it. If you're not a fan of the huge pink bubble necklace, there's also that really gorgeous, fun pink cha-cha bracelet, which has also got that fun 1960s styles that we were talking about. Or you can totally go ahead and you can mimic that really high-end couture look uh, that many people in our group love. And you can do something like pairing the gorgeous leather flower brooch with it. I love 
love the leather flower brooch because this has got the freshwater pearls that are mixed into it. So this is a great piece to wear a lot of different ways. You can wear it in your hair if you like something that's got a tropical feel. You could pin this to if you were wearing like a tank or like a sundress. You could have it be attached to the strap. You could wear this on a blouse. You could wear this pinned to something that's like Pulitzer style. You could put this on a sash and you could wear it around your waist. There's just a lot of possibilities. Plus, since this has got the genuine cultured pearls with it, plus the leather actually has like a little bit of wire in it. So the petals themselves can be adjusted. And if you look very closely, the petals are actually hard. So I love this piece. Uh, it is a higher end designer piece, but it's a steel again. And of course, you can use your discount on the style society in it. This would be a fabulous piece to add to someone's jewelry box. So though it, that is one of the looks that I'm absolutely loving, I am loving and adoring your whole Lily Pulitzer look. I think that it is one of those pieces that is distinctive and I think it's fun and I think it screams summer. And the other thing is, like I said, I think age appeal and style wise, it's really timeless. Lily has not gone out of style and she's not going out of style anytime soon. So it's the type of look that you can absolutely wear over and over and over again. And it's also a type of look that is easily mimicked because even if you're not a big pattern person, you can absorb the color play into your accessories and still embody that look. So that is look number one. Look number two, moving on today, is a dressy look. I love beaded gowns. I mean, is that any kind of surprise that if I'm absolutely attracted to all things gorgeous and sparkly that I also wouldn't be obsessed with all things sparkly even in my clothes? But I'm a big fan of this vintage dress. This dress, I'm looking down, it's an Adriana Papel and it was featured at Nordstrom. Uh, I like this one because it's got a flattering cut and a flattering fit. A lot of people say that they like to hide their waist. If you give yourself a waist, it actually helps define it. So it's actually more a figure and flat but what I love about this one is that because it's got the soft neutral colors and it's got the soft beading and things like that, there's a lot of really gorgeous earrings that you could put with it. You know, we've got the really gorgeous opalines that have got the gold. And then, of course, what's nice about these is that they've got the little bit of the hint of the pink with them. And then, of course, there were the larger round medallion style earrings. I have the trays to the side of me. So if I look like I'm looking off, that is actually what I'm doing is looking for the earrings. Uh, but then we also have that other pair of earrings that we're featuring that are another way that you could add just a little bit of color. And then also the fact that it has got the antique gold tone finish to it gives it a little bit of color that you can be able to mix with everything again. It's really nice and really fun to be able to add color even when you're wearing neutrals. So that is another look that I am loving and adoring and I think is another one that can easily be recreated over and over again as well as it doesn't have to be an evening gown, but the neutral colors that we're going ahead and showing here play so nicely with some of the colored pieces that are on the tray this week and they're a little bit more subtle at the same time. I mean, who doesn't love this earring? This is absolutely one of my all time favorite earrings is that little opalescent one. Moving on for a dressy look that is one that can be easily worn repeatedly and also this is a great look that you could wear this summer. You could add a cardigan to it. So this look we're featuring is also a jumpsuit, but it's a palazzo style jumpsuit. Uh, this one is a Vince Camuto. It is featuring a moss colored crepe and they're saying it's a wide leg. I love this for a different couple different reasons. Uh, the wide leg crepe palazzo is actually very flattering again on a lot of different peoples. The tie waist makes it very easy to do a number of different things with it. You could very easily add a brooch to it as on the sash. You could, for example, we were talking about how much we absolutely love and adore that pendant. You could wear a pendant. This is a nice way that if you're thinking about colors, you can pick up on the monochromatic pieces that Vintage Meet Modern sort of was featuring this week with like the jade green, or we have got the gorgeous bracelets with the Aurora Borealis. You know, this one mimics the same color green that you're seeing actually in the jumpsuit. So a real classy and elegant way to pull off time and time again 
again, your look is by being able to take one monochromatic color and then be able to show it with jewelry that's of the same color scheme over and over again. But don't think that you're limited in that. Another great way to be able to add something to a look like this is to be able to add actually the pieces that are of color. So I'm thinking of the Aurora Borealis bracelets that we have because they do reflect the green. They do reflect a little bit of pink. They're going to play up on the color and they're going to complement it, but they're also going to kind of take on that little bit of chameleon effect. They're going to take on whatever color you are wearing with it. So that is another look. So that is our second dressy look of wear this with that. So all of these pieces can be found at Vintage Meat Modern. So now we're going to move on to our casual looks because I know most of us live a more casual lifestyle. And that's really important. But when it comes to looking casual, you don't want to look, how do I put it? You wanna be comfortable and you want to be casual, but you still wanna be able to look distinctive and unique and you want to be able to celebrate your own personal style, even if you're wearing something that is more casual or more comfy or is just based on neutrals. So I'm gonna be showing you one that really plays up the neutrals and then I'm gonna be showing you an outfit that pays up more of the casual colors uh, that we know and that we love, uh, but also is reflective of a print. So here we have taken, again, I'm a huge fan of Vince Camuto. I think that his pieces are actually very um, forgiving. And again, since I'm a chestier girl, I know I've mentioned that before, I find that a number of his pieces fit me very well. So he's kind of one of my go-to designers. You can find him at Nordstrom. You can find him at Nordstrom Rack again. So a lot of times we talk about the quality that goes along with being able to find those types of pieces. And this is a perfect example of an outfit that I would just wear as a daytime outfit. I love florals. We talked about the wearable garden. I love the fact that this one is a bright color floral, but it's not one that has just like one color running through it. It's got hints of green. It has hints of pink. It has hints of red. And so there are some obvious pieces that I love and that I think are no brainers that you can pair with this piece over and over again. Uh, if these are the types of colors that you like to wear in your palette for a more casual day. Plus, you're show we're showing that this is being paired with jeans. I know many of us live in a jeans or a capri type lifestyle. So this is the perfect type of top to be able to wear. This also is a little bit dressy and feminine, but it also appeals to those boho chic girls too. So you can take some classic elements like the gorgeous hoops that we've featured several times. These have the pink and the periwinkle and the purple colors in them. This will bring out the colors that you're seeing in the blouse. Uh, of course, you know, we love and adore the fact that we've got this gorgeous bracelet from Juliana. This one has got exactly like what we're talking about. It's got a little bit of the hint of the feminine with it, with the pearl. And then of course it has got the very feminine colors of the sort of Alexandriite and the color changing stones and like the amethyst and sort of the light lavender color. But at the same time, this would be a great statement bracelet to be able to pair with something like this, especially because it has the more unique sleeves. Look at the sparkle on that. Isn't that beautiful? So gorgeous. So this would be another great piece. But now if you really have been thinking to yourself like about treating you to those opal pieces, remember I only have two opal rings left and we only have one opal bracelet. This is a perfect example of how you can wear this bracelet with anything because this one is gonna pull out whatever color you're putting it with. And another thing that's so great about these rings, and I know there's a couple people in this group that have both the bracelet and the ring, First of all, they're both under $50. They're both authentic vintage stones. They're set in authentic vintage settings, and they're also adjustable. The ring is adjustable as well as the bracelet because it's an open back cuff. So, you know, you can very easily be able to pair this and be able to wear it with something like that. In fact, even in today, if you do take a little bit of a look, I'm wearing a sweater that has got sort of the same fun bell sleeves and it has a little bit of the floral design the same way that you're seeing in the sweatshirt or the sweater or the top. So the a perfect example of how I would never suggest you wearing anything that I wouldn't actually personally wear myself. 
But I think that if you are not a necklace person, if you are not a bracelet person, if you are not a ring person, this is also still a style that you could very easily complement and wear a brooch. The reason why I say that is, is because you can very easily sort of make the brooch become part of the floral design. And so as you know, we do have quite a few really beautiful brooches this week. We've got that gorgeous domed one that's got sort of the light green peridot colored rhinestones. And then of course we also have that gorgeous sort of peacocky. It's got the Aurora Borealis rhinestones and it's got the blues and the greens. Look at that sparkle. I have no fancy lights on. That's part of the challenge was being able to see if we can work and use these new um, software is that we're working on being able to improve the lighting with this because I'm using the camera on my computer and I'm not really used to that. So let's take a look at the last look that we have for you today. So this is our last look of the day today. This is our most casual look. And this was the one that I was referencing the day before when I was talking about how easy it is to take a classic white or a bold tropical print in a neutral color and mix those really fun, fabulous 1950s style huge earrings. You know which ones I'm talking about. I'm talking about the huge, big, the light lucite thermoset ones, as well as I'm talking about the other gorgeous blue ones. These are so fun and fabulous. And if you look close at the design of the pants, you can see how awesome it would be to be able to mimic the design in the pants. You're taking the classic white and then you're mixing it with the black and the white and the neutral and then you're adding just a soft pop of color which I really think makes being able to set that kind of look apart from others now of course you could still be able to wear that with a classic gold or you'd be able to wear it with a classic you know, black or jet, but there's a lot of different things that you can do. And we had a lot of blue that we were featuring this week. I know that blue is one of your favorite colors, but at the same time, it's really easy to be able to mix unique pieces like this that are gonna go ahead and they are gonna mimic that look. Oh, Mr. Michael's here. Okay, so these are our looks this week, and I really wanted to thank you for your patience, and I'm really working hard to try to work out our camera situation and to try to help make everything as cohesive as it possibly can so that you can be able to have a look at the trays while I'm talking about all the jewelry. I hope this also really inspired you to think of some ways that if these are pieces that you say, I know and I love, but I'm not really 100% sure how I would wear them or what I would wear them with. Michael says that the blue earrings are the ones that he loves. He's pulling out the heart for love for that one. So just know that if those wind up in your jewelry box, they were a favorite of Mr. Michael's first. I want to wish you all an absolutely fabulous Friday evening. I will be popping on next week again. We've got some fun and exciting things that are coming up next week. So be sure to tune back in because I'm also going to be starting. Oh, and Sparky says hello too. Uh, don't forget that also next week I will be starting to talk about some of my favorite things. And also we have a very special moving sale coming up uh, because we are going to be getting a new website. So there are lots of fun and fabulous things that are going on here at Vintage Meat Modern. So I wish you all an absolutely fabulous Friday. If you are new here and you have never shopped with us and you must have one of these pieces, please head on over to VintageMeatModern.com and check out all of these under week 23 or see them under new arrivals and if you have any questions about any of the size and scale or maybe what we could pair it with or something like that that's exactly what we're here for we're here to help inspire you to look and feel your best and to dress in details so i am signing off for the evening i hope wherever you are you are happy and wonderful and as always thank you from the absolute bottom of my heart for being here your support means more than you know so if you love this please give it a thumbs up tell us uh, what you liked about it tell us how we can uh, help make your buying experience better and I will see you soon you want to say goodbye Michael bye, bye. <laughs>